This is a 2016 Ferrari under Cascadia and this specific truck is having issues, electrical issues in this case, and those issues are referring to the SAM chassis module, which is this one right here. If you wonder what is this, this is a module that controls most of the electrical components of the trailer and the tail of the truck. From here you want to have all the top lights of the trailer, you want to have all the rear lights of the trailer and stop lights and turn signal lights. This model right here controls more than just that, also controls the ABS, tractor ABS and uh, trailer ABS. Is the one that sends the power to all those components. Um, the situation is that over the time this module goes bad, and the reason why it goes bad, it goes bad is because it is exposed to and to the environment, and the environment, especially water, is the one that damages it. As for example, this module right here goes located in this area right here, and this area of the truck is very exposed to get wet when you are running over the road and you encounter water and because it is right here it can breach this area that is the importance to have these covers right here that this cover and this top cover right here on the other side of the hood this one right here so these covers are the ones that are meant to protect this module from any excessive water that is um, coming from the environment, in this case, the road. Um, the issue then was we were getting with this uh, uh, sun chassis was then the lights were blinking with no control at all, the engine was off, the truck was off, completely off, the ignition was off, and the lights were on and off, on and off, on and off. You can hear the module working because the module internally has relays and switches then control different components. So you, you can hear it exactly the moment how it's working, not working, 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 and that is because it got in contact with water. Of course, right, water is one of the worst things that can happen to any electronic component, and this component, because it is exposed to the environment, can be damaged. For the newer trucks in 2017 and up, they don't have this issue, they have different issues, but because they always going to have issues anyway. But uh, they don't have this issue with water because the model is no longer located here. It's long, it is located by the glove box compartment. So we don't have the problem that we're going to get excessive amount of water in this uh, model anymore. So that is a solution um, in that area in that, for this problem. But uh, we still gonna get different problems. Anyway, that's a different video. So, uh, it's very important then after we turn the ignition on, we have different type of problems because um, of course, right, this is not working at all. But it, it is good to see what kind of problems uh, yeah, um, some chassis can do. So that way in the future, if we get problems like this, we know that this is the situation. In this case, with the ignition on, we can see then the turn signal lights are blinking in the dashboard and the, the whole module is making noise because clicking noises because the relays, internal relays that this component has and in the back the lights are flickering, they are on off, on and off so that is uh, the situation that happens so when the ignition off we won't have no lights on in the dashboard and we're gonna have lights in the back working. And with the ignition on, we're gonna have lights in the dashboard working left and right. And in the back, we're gonna have lights that are flashing. So that is the way we're gonna find that it is a defected um, sun chassis. And after we remove it, of course, we can see the damage and the damage is that we have excessive amount of water in the component. And this is the reason why we have this issue. The solution to this problem it is replace the sun chassis. The sun chassis cannot, it is a piece that it cannot be repaired by yourself. You can send it to someone that can prepare it, someone that works specifically on electronics, but um, it must be replaced. In this case, you have to go to the dealer and take this part because they need this part as a core and they're going to give you a new one. The new one doesn't come with a with a cover here. And that's another important uh, part to see when you are installing 
one of these components as a chassis, you have to install the cover. And the cover is a very important piece because it prevents water to go in the fuse box right here. So that water still could be water coming in, but not as excessive if the cover is gone. So it is very important to have it. The new style of San Chassis doesn't have the clips for the cover over here. Instead, has a different style of cover. Then it is located on the top to the bottom and goes to one of these bolts right here. It, it goes mounted in one of these bolts here. So you can screw it to secure it and screw it out to open it. It's a very interesting way to um, eliminate the built-in cover, but it is, uh, it is good because you can secure the cover by screwing it. In the past, we had the issue with this component, then the clips here, they, they break because plastic is too cheap. So uh, the cover will be missing because of the plastics are broken, but with the new style, we don't get that issue because it has a screw instead but uh, in the past I have like three two different videos about water and electronics um, I have a video of a KW then water went in in the fuse box inside the, dash, the dashboard and start messing with electrical components light on light off and everything and at the end we discovered it and the fuses and relays were completely sucking water and this was the reason why they got completely destroyed and also i have another video where i talk about an ecu um, cascadia ecu in this case then water went inside the ecu and this was the reason why the engine was not starting, was starting sometimes, was starting sometimes, and not, not starting sometimes, and that's how it was. Um, but uh, it is very important then when you are driving a truck, you be sure then if there is a big pot of water, there is, a, there is so much water on the road, reduce the speed because all the water is increasing i mean uh, it's going to go higher the faster you go the has the, f the higher the level the water is going to reach when it sprinkles every all, all over the place and that can reach components like these ecus and other components then around the engine and that can be very expensive just because you were going fast so if you have the issue or you are you are able to see then there is water in the road over the road and you have time to stop or slow down, do it because that is going to prevent problems like this or other problems with other electronic components that can be more expensive than this. Anyway, this is all I'm going to show you, more electrical issues, uh, specifically with water and uh, electronic components, especially right now that we have heavy rain 2023, January 2023, Heavy rain is happening in here in California, so most of these trucks are getting, you know, electrical issues and stuff like that because of that. But uh, I hope that you take conscience of what you're doing and protect your components because this is very expensive. And if you are a driver, please care about your owner, your owner, of, uh, the owner of the truck, because that is going to save him a lot of money if you are driving the truck nicely. Anyway, this is all. If you have any questions, just comment below. If you want to look for me, go to Instagram. Look for me, Francisco Maya YouTube. You can see different things I'm doing there. If you want to follow my channel, just subscribe. Share the video with anybody that wants to learn more about these trucks. And thank you for watching.